some of my friends. Yo, if you don't do this already, I'm urging you. So before you go to bed, right? Before you lay your head down to sleep, take like 15 minutes, go do all the dishes. Do all the dishes in the sink. Wipe down the countertops, make that kitchen fucking sparkly clean. Get your water bottle, get your travel coffee mug, get your coffee mug, grind your coffee beans, fill up the coffee maker, get that bitch ready, get your gym bag, get your shower stuff, get the shoes you're gonna wear, get the boots you're gonna wear for the day, get your change of clothes that you're gonna wear at the office, get your fucking, your briefcase ready, get your money out there, get your car key, get everything. I line everything up. And I'll tell you what, when I wake up in the morning and I'm fucking cranky and tired and I don't feel like doing it, when I come out and my shit's all lined up like a fucking surgeon, I walk out there, I'm like, yo, here's my tools. I gather up my tools, I put them on my truck, I start my truck, I start my coffee, and it's like a fucking crisp routine and I feel good. There's no room for error, there's no decisions to be made, I'm just leaving the house like a fucking boss and I'm ready. It feels really good. All right, training today is uh, gonna be a bunch of circuit work. Circuit work. Um, I don't know what he's setting up over there, but it looks like a small town of boxes. Whoa, 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 whoa. I saw that move, what was that move? We got some fun acrobat moves going on today. Now we're doing a, a couple different circuits, um, and then we're, uh, we're gonna go meet the builder, so. I have some warming up to do. How was that, Rob? That's good. That's good. Now, <coughs> we're gonna do our little post-workout shake. I don't have juice today. Very disappointing. Um, I'm gonna go meet the uh, builder. You heard what, did you catch that on video? He just said, cardio is so much fun, though. Danny, you having fun? I like the right, Everybody in here is crazy. Everybody's having fun doing cardio. I believe this is an Airbnb right now, but nobody's renting it. Okay. Just because it's, I don't know. Um, it's not that sexy. So what we were gonna do is, in the in the woods, drop an A-frame. Okay, that's um, what you were talking about, Death. I think they're, the fact that like, I think they're excited about our little projects, and I think it's gonna be like a really good relationship, so. Yeah. Cool. cool, see you, man. All right, so this is a presentation for the FGX FL 3D collection featuring sweatshirt and graphic tee. I think we did really good on the print. Yeah. yeah. All right. So yesterday you saw the production of that behind the scenes. Today. That was the meeting, sort of recapping all the information. Um, and that releases a week from today, right? Yeah. A week from today. A little behind the scenes, you guys, there's a bunch of steps. Uh, that hoodie started, how long Probably ago? in June. Probably in June. And then it took all the way to here to get to the creative to now get to you guys, which releases next week. So, happens often. Feels good. Feels good to see it all come together. All right, we did a lot today. We met with the builder. Oh, we went to my house. Uh, I had some equity build up in my house and I feel like I've never really had quite the master bathroom that I've wanted uh, or an extra closet. So we, we're gonna do a little addition there. What else did we do? Oh, we reviewed stuff at work for the release next week. Uh, had some other behind the scenes meetings. And now we are headed to West to set up some test shots for a music video we're shooting next week. We're gonna shoot a lyric video for my Single for my solo album, Heartbeat, releasing on the 27th. I think that's what, next Thursday? You already saw him, right? <laughs> yeah. What? 
It's just the way you're sitting. It's your little. It's dainty, comfortable. I know it's comfortable, but it's like your little dainty feet dangling. I'm just. Here, can you just flutter them a little? Yeah, bit? Yeah. So there you go. I'm just. Observing. How old are you? I am th 32. All right. Not yet. So today we met with the builder. Um, so I think it's only fair that we talk about real estate. Now, I don't completely understand real estate, but I'm slowly starting to understand real estate. And the more I understand it, the more I like it. Um, when I was younger, a bunch of my friends got into real estate with small sums of money, like just enough for that down payment. Like they made seven grand, somehow bought a house, did some work, and then started renting it. So I was never really interested. Um, once I started buying warehouses, instead of renting a warehouse for my businesses, I started buying them and then paying myself rent. And then once I moved here and learned the market, I realized that Airbnbs and vacation rentals around here are gold. So I bought my first one, uh, the Lakeshore Loft. I love saying numbers. I especially love when people above me say numbers. I remember when my friend told me that he made $3 million a year. Backtrack, there's two types of people, right? There's types of people that when you say, like when my friend said, I make $3 million a year, the one type of person says, fuck you, you rich dickhead, like blah, 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 must be nice. That person's a fucking loser. The other person, the O person on the work hand, the O person gets inspired by that. Anyway, I'm one of those people who gets inspired by other people doing great things and then I wanna do great things. So I remember him saying I make $3 million a year and I was like, holy shit. Um, don't remember why I'm saying that. Why was I saying that? Oh, it puts things in perspective. What? Put, what? Things in perspective. Numbers help put things. Oh, in numbers help put things in perspective. It's been a long fucking day. Numbers help put things in perspective. So it just gives you a concept instead of just being like, I make money off rental properties. Well, what the fuck do you make? You make fifty dollars, or do you actually make money? So I bought that house and I practically fucking stole that A-frame for three hundred and ten thousand dollars. So what we did is we quoted it from the East Coast with our boy Zach. Flew him out here. Uh, gave him my credit card. He bought all the tools he needed to full in. I think I was like seventy-two thousand dollars into the renovation. So now I'm at four hundred, um, three hundred and seventy-two thousand dollars, and that bitch rents out like crazy. So it's making forty-five hundred to fifty-five hundred, sometimes thirty-five hundred, but on average forty-five hundred dollars a month. So once I did that, I decided to start buying more. So I've now bought one down that way on the river. I bought the farmhouse. Uh, I bought the lake house and I'm constantly looking for more property. Why? I'm interested in things and businesses where I can make money where it doesn't solely rely on me. I love branding, I love building brands, I love using myself and my voice, uh, I love using a staff to make money. Um, I, I love all aspects of it, but the one thing that I don't do is I don't have any businesses that I can build, set, and forget, and each house sort of acts as a, its own business. To me, it's, it's, it's just like anything else. It's just like photography, it's just like video, it's just like silk screening. It's a skill that I don't quite understand that I'm slowly dipping into, and I'm fucking loving it. If I could tell you guys one place to go, if you guys are interested at all in real estate, and once again, I've had friends that have started in the real estate game with 4,000 fucking dollars. I would go listen to Bigger Pockets podcast. Let me know if you guys want me to go in like deeper detail. Like I have some footage of renos. I'm about to do a reno on the lake house. If you guys want like a full in depth video on rental properties or anything like that, let me know below and I can, I can tailor these a little bit better. But that's a little taste. What are we doing now? Uh, music. Ooh, we're gonna go set up a music video. Set up a music video.